Paradise Ray. I got my Paradise Fiber, um, Fiber subscription. I really like the bag. It's got like lavender. <coughs> Looks like lavender. You okay? Okay. <laughs> Let me open it up here. Daddy, I will help you. Shh. Mama's doing a video, baby. Go we'll throw it away. Oh, sorry. Mom life. No excuses. Oh, and I just messed up my nail. Okay. Oh my gosh. I am gonna love. This is my bag, people. Okay, if there was ever a subscription, fiber subscription, this is definitely my colors. Okay, I'm super happy. Okay, it's March 2023 Fiber Club newsletter. It's tiptoe through the tulips. Okay, it says. In our bag is two ounces of limited edition hand dyed wool and mohair locks. Three ounces of dyed cordial wool top in the shade Raven. One tulip, two U, E W E, like you know, the sheep, two lip, vinyl sheep sticker, one unicorn fiber rinse, one stitch marker. And one green and white fusion stash tea. Okay. Let's see. This month we've been dreaming of spring and tulip bulbs as they sit below the surface in the dark, waiting for their time to emerge and bloom. If you have never tried spinning a textured yarn, now is your time to grow. While spinning locks isn't known to be easy, it's usually exciting and always visually inspiring. Give yourself freedom to experiment this month and just play with texture. For the yarn this month, our spinner core spun the black cordel roving while placing the locks randomly throughout the yarn. For a quick example of how to place locks, check out this link. The bulky single was then plied back onto a core yarn, wrapping the bulky yarn around the outside to hide the core yarn. Okay, so that's what they're talking about. Isn't that cool looking? Once the textured yarn was spun, it was time for the next layer of fun to begin. Using the Paradise Fibers frame loom and some linen wrap, the loom was wrapped up and weaving could begin. This weaver used a variety of yarns, including Faz Alp, Dazzle, Cascade Magnum, Melabrigo Charcoal, and Rasta, as well as Noral Malvinus. Weaving the yarn in layers and using a mixture of plain weave, sumac weave, Raya knots and Raya loops. The tapestry was created with tons of texture and visual interest. This month's fiber project was a blast to play with, and we hope you will have as much fun as we did. Okay, the thing they made, that's what they're talking about. Is that. Isn't that cool looking? Okay. Let's look at the extras first. It's in a black satiny type bag this time. So much better than the pink. Okay. And this is the Unicorn Beyond Soft. It's just, you know, soap stuff. And a stash fusion green and white. Blended green teas and white teas. That sounds delicious. Up. And that's supposed to be the tulip. <laughs> you and tulip, put it together, people. <laughs> um, it looks interesting. Not really what I am personally into, but you know, definitely somebody's interest. That tea sounds good, though. Okay. So this is the Raven Cordell Fiber. Oh, and it's gorgeous. And the bag's purple. 
It is a purple organza bag. Oh, man. Oh, and it's soft. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Mm, it doesn't smell like sheep either. Oh, it's so pretty, though. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And then, what I saw first that really got me excited. These are the fiber locks. It says, I am so excited to partner with Paradise Fiber for their Fiber of the Month Club. Not only do I get to share my mission and creative ideas with you, but I also get to share an exquisite fiber product that very few spinners have tried in their spinning journey. When you get roving, the fiber has been combed straight. This is referred to as carding. By shearing the fiber off the animal and not carding it straight, that is referred to as uncarded. Uncarded curly locks from sheep and goat are amazing tools in so many projects. Spinning, felting, quilting, doll hair, beading, jewelry making, appliques, and much more. Adds dimension and uniqueness to all your creations. These locks are a mix of various breeds such as BFL, Lincoln, Coswold, Mohair, and are all sourced from United States fiber farms, most within 100 miles of me. Note, these are hand-dyed, uncarded fiber locks. What does that mean? Well, you find bits of hay, most definitely, and it's underlined, <laughs> and bolded. Though washed and cleaned multiple times, the curls may hold little bits in, depending on how curly and tight the lock is. Once you open the locks, the hay and little bits should fall out. Thank you for supporting our family-based small business art fiber art. Compass Moon's Creations, Jennifer Marker. So that's where these locks come from. And there's her stuff. That's a nice note. Look at the colors, people. You know, right? I love it so much. I want to open it. Get some scissors next to you, Rachel. It makes stuff easier. What? Makes stuff easy? Why would we do that? <laughs> it's so sticky. Okay, there we go. It ripped up. Look at... Oh my god. Gosh, it's so gorgeous. Mama G, do you see the greens and the purples? Oh, okay, this is all coming out. Oh, look at that. Okay, there's a little bit of pink. Let's just take that out and toss it. It's pretty. Oh, there's still a little pink. No pink. I don't want pink in there. It's too pretty. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just making it prettier for you. Okay, that's good. Eh, that's gotta go. That's gotta go. Okay, I think I'm done. Look. Purples and greens. It looks like a cool type of, like, sea thing almost underneath, doesn't it? Like, I don't know what those things are called. Look at the little, oh, I love it. This'll be fun. And I'm so, there is definitely hay in here. <laughs> I'm fine in hay. That's okay though. Oh, look at that green. I will definitely have fun trying this out. Of course, I haven't spun locks into yarn yet. But I am definitely willing to try it. And with that black, it is going to look, it's going to look amazing. And then I could get like some silver Stellina stuff or Angelina fiber. Ooh. Oh, we are so talking. Okay, this purple right here, the super dark purple with the super dark green. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous. 
Okay, I'm just stuffing it in here. Um, I usually try to spin up the um, fiber subscription in the month that I was given. But with this being something so different and new, I don't know if I'm going to make it this month. I'm going to definitely try, though. But, um, yeah. Uh, she's got another note on the inside. I didn't even see it. it. says, I can't say it enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am thankful for you in so many ways that you are supporting my small business so I can homeschool my children, that you love the things that I create enough to give them a home. But most of all, that you are a creator yourself, seeking to bring beauty into the world that we have been given in your own special way. <clears throat> Enjoy these tokens that I have put a part of myself into from my own desire to bring beauty into the world as well. Make something unique. Enjoy touching and holding them. Send me pictures of what you do. I would love to see. Looking for more fibery goodness? Check out my Etsy shop for hand spun, hand dyed yarn, carded bats, fiber, felting supplies, more fiber, lock colors, oodles and oodles of unique stitch markers, wool dryer balls, wool felt, and so much more. During the second week of the month, I will be doing a series of videos on my Facebook page and will be focused on using these fiber locks. I will be doing blending, spinning ideas, traditional as well as more artistic in nature, as well as other ideas how to use them. Come join me. Compass Moon Creations Jennifer Moon. That's cool. You know what I didn't see, though? I didn't see my stitch marker. I feel it. Oh, it it's a purple light bulb thing, first of all, so I'm happy. And it's like a little silver tulip. That's so cool. Okay, so yeah, I'm super, super excited and happy about this month. Um, I'm definitely excited to try these locks because they look interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye, everybody.